Why do you think they squashed the story? Back then or now? Now. Um, they, they, they didn't want to hurt him. You think it's because of a personal relationship with the guy who runs AMI, is friends with Donald Trump? Correct. So again, Donnie, a jury is going to have to determine, as Judge Marshawn said, whether they, these things were done to impact how voters felt about Donald Trump ahead of the 2016 election. And there's yet another witness who was paid money to stay quiet. Her story was caught and killed. Uh, who says yes? Yeah, I, you know, we haven't sat through the trial yet, obviously, but you see all the pieces, you see all the players, you see all the moves, and you kind of go. How is he going to be found anything but guilty? You, you, you can kind of see it playing out. You go, you just, and, and it's only going to get worse when things happen with live flesh and blood. So I, I just, as he, when you see the cast of characters and when you know the facts that we know already, forget what else that might not be there to Michael Cohn's point that there might be a surprise or two coming. You go, how is anybody on a jury going to look at this any other way? Right. In our, in our system, as you, and, you know, I know you're not saying anything other than this, the, the jury will make that determination. Yes. But a hallmark of, of Trump is that the things he's charged with usually aren't things that he denies to. Like, what's he going to say? No, I didn't. No, it, he's it's never actually, said no, I didn't. It's part of his brand. It's part of, it's, it's, he's run on it, in effect. You know, he's right. run on, I don't pay taxes because I beat the system. Right. I, I'm too smart. They can't get me. I mean, this I is stole the documents because when you're president, you can. And, you know, I, ha, 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 Trump University. You know what I mean? I got away with it. So it's like he, guys who scam, they, there's a, they're proud of it. It's like they think they're smarter than the next guy, that they're getting away with something, that they live above where everybody else lives. So he, his entire life has kind of bragged about how he thumbs his nose at various constraints that most of us live within. I mean, and, and that was revealed. The E. Jean Carroll deposition, um, I don't, again, I'm not a lawyer, which I find to really make it harder to do this job. But his lawyers couldn't have thought it was a good thing that in his deposition he confused E. Jean Carroll and Marla Maples, who he was married to. I mean, the recent history proves what Donnie's saying. He's not a great witness to his own fact patterns. No, I think even um, in, the, in the political interview, Cohen said that he thinks Trump wants you to think he wants to testify. Right, right. But he doesn't want to testify. Right. And in fact, I, I think there is pretty much no example I can think of where he's gotten to the point of having to really answer tough questions, where he's actually performed very well um, on that question. And I also think, you know, as you said on the show before, I think years ago, him being in a context where he can't lie, where he can't make things up, embellish, bully, bulldoze, the tactics he uses to get through politics and campaigns, um, where he can't actually do that if he's on the stand, I should say, um, that must be horrifying to him. Because those are tools of control and power that he has used all his life to make his way to gain wealth, to gain influence, to gain office. And to not have access to them is really striking. That's kind of a, a final moment for him in a way. It, it's, it's to me strange this is the case where this is going to happen. Finally, I think an audience of people who've been waiting for him to get his due, which is out there, are like, it's this case of all the cases, but it is. This is the, this is the first one to go. I want to add into what Nick said about seeing a guy with no power. Anybody who thinks that, oh, this is good for Donald Trump because he looks like the victim and they're coming after him, no, 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 no. You're going to see a guy who's neutered sitting in that courtroom, who is powerless. And that flies in the face that everything that he sold. Yeah, and I mean, the evidence of that is that there were three appeals this week. He lost all three of them. But if Donald Trump didn't agree with Donnie on this, Donald Trump wouldn't be trying so hard to make sure this trial doesn't start. Yeah, and like you said, Nicole, there, ha there were three attempts to try to put off this trial. I mean, we have said that you know, delay is the favored tactic here, not just in this case, but in all the cases. And this week, there were three attempts with the appellate court to try to push push off the trial. The, tr the appellate court didn't agree to stay any of them. Those appellate arguments will continue to be heard while we were undergoing this trial. So in addition, it's a, it's a coverage nightmare because we will be having people kind of cover the day-to-day -day of the trial, but also these appeals. It reminds me a lot of the civil fraud trial that we just experienced, where there were continuous appeals as the process was going. And I uh, imagine we will continue to see that as this trial unfolds. 
Trump always um, does a volume business of chaos, and that's how he sort of politically Houdini's his way in and out of things. What are you? What do you think we should gird ourselves for? I think that he's in a very different position now, because this is the first time not only have we uh, had in history a former president on trial. It's the first time he's on a criminal trial. Yeah. So he's locked in that chair all day. And it's very difficult to try and tell your lawyers, because he operates like he's his best lawyer. There's no better liar in the world than me. I'm going to tell you how to do this lie. He can't focus on that and focus on organizing chaos outside. Mm. And he has to really be careful how he organizes chaos given January 6th, because he doesn't know if he's uh, g g organizing guys that are going to end up testifying against him. The biggest problem he's going to have, on the next point about the, the state is after me, is the people that we know that may be the witnesses here are people he introduced the world to. We never heard of Michael Cohen. He <laughs> delivered true. Michael Cohen. We never heard of the... Uh, the, the uh, yeah. None of them. Yeah. So are you telling me the deep state knew 10 years ago you were going to be running for president and planted Michael Cohen in or planted the porn star there? No jury's going to believe that. These are your people. These are the people that you dealt with. How do you make a victim out of you and Michael Cohen went to jail? I mean, if you're saying he only lied to get uh, something done, then why did he do two years in jail? It's hard for him to sell this one. These are your buddies. These are ladies you knew. And you have to sit there eight hours and you may get an hour for lunch and you can't orchestrate a rebellion outside because you're in there for the first time with somebody saying, sit in your seat. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, and we really can't emphasize enough. We've we've never done this before as a country. Um, how long do you think jury selection takes? Last question. That's such a great question. I think that's the question of on everybody's mind. I think it's at least going to take two weeks. Wow. I think um, we're also running into the Passover holiday. There's right. other complications that might arise during during jury selection, but I think it's going to take at least two weeks. I mean, getting through Michael's hundreds, anticipating three weeks. I anyway, think, uh. getting through hundreds of jurors <clears throat> with the same 42 questions. And and as we, you know, haven't mentioned, the, this is an anonymous jury to the public. You know, that the, the the lawyers, Donald Trump, will know the jurors' names. We will not. So it will just be like a, a really interesting per, uh, coverage perspective yeah. for the for all media outlets. It's amazing. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it: You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.